So you've been a vendor at markets for years and you're considering starting your own and being an organizer of a market. Stay tuned to today's video where I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks on how to best do that in Bite Size Chunks, which I offer to you every Tuesday. So let's get to it. So I wanna take you to a story about my very best market that I have ever done. Um, it was put on by two girls who had never put on a market before. Um, they had decided that they had been vendors at markets for years and they wanted to try it out and see you know, what it would take to be an organizer. Hands down, the very best market I have ever been a part of, and here's why. First of all, they were very clear in communicating to all of the vendors what to expect, when to show up. Um, they were there when we did show up to help us set up our booths. Um, they, it was an outdoor event, so we had t uh, tents and tables, which they um, had pre-organized for people to help you carry things from your car to the venue to set up your tent. It was just a really great start um, to have that all organized in advance. Then once everyone was getting organized, they came around and they actually gave everybody who was there, all the vendors, they gave us a little inexpensive um, insulated bag that had a bottle of water and a granola bar. I have never ever had an event organizer do that for me before. And the best part is that they included a handwritten note thanking us for being there. It really did set this event out from all others. Sure, it wasn't actually the best traffic or the best attended event I've ever done, but to this day, this that was about 10 years ago, to this day, it was hands down the best feeling I've ever had as a vendor because I really felt valued. Now, I did mention that it wasn't super well uh, attended and that's not actually the organizer's fault, although um, signage is very, very important. Um, one of the things that really came out of that is that I had the opportunity to meet other vendors who were there. So not only did I get to build this vendor community with a bunch of people because it was a little bit of a more slow day, um, but I actually got to learn about other events that were going on in the area and I got to be part of those. So one of the things, the, probably the, the number one tip I have for you if you're putting on an event, communicate well and treat your vendors as if they matter because they do. If vendors feel very happy at an event, then next time you put it on, they will make sure to tell all of their vendor friends about your market and they're more likely to tell their customers to show up. I'll give you an opposite example of this. Um, and as a vendor, I should kind of throw in there that I, it is not my responsibility to get customers to your event as the organizer. And if it's the first time this event has ever happened or my first time working with you, to be totally honest, I'm really not telling my customers about the event because I don't know what to expect myself. So if it's not going to be a very good event, it's not very well organized, I don't really want to be putting my name beside that to my customers. So bear that in mind as well. But if you have really great communication, if you give them very clear instructions when they show up, where they're going to be, um, you're accommodating to a certain extent. Of course, you can't set up everybody's booth for them. Um, but if you're accommodating to a certain extent, so for example, if somebody needs an outlet, make sure that they're close by to an outlet or that you have an extension cord or that you've communicated to them that they need to bring an extension cord, that's fine. Just do your due diligence in communicating and communicating very well. Another tip I have for you is that if you are already doing markets, then you're used to being a vendor. Now you're trying to flip the tables and you're trying to be the organizer, which is great and a lot of people do this, However, your vendors are paying to be there and they need your attention first. So whether that means you set up your own booth the night before or you come earlier before all the other vendors get to be there to set up your booth, you really do need to spend your time and attention helping other vendors, not focusing on your own booth. I have lots and lots of tips for you. Um, I did write a, a workbook for you um, for market organizers. It's free. I will drop the link in the comments so you can just fill that out. Um, I'll capture your email and I will send you a free copy of my market organizer workbook. 
And if you'd like, I can also include the free vendor workbook. So in case you missed last week's video, I will post it here, but this is on how to be a market vendor. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for being here this week, and I look forward to seeing you next week.